Hi, everyone. Welcome to our session on establishing an AI council. The title of this session and my introduction will focus on marketers and marketing teams, but this content is relevant to anyone thinking about AI at their organization and how to put some guidelines in place to ensure that it's used responsibly. Before we dive into the meat of our session, my name is Samutha Reddy. I lead enterprise marketing at Jasper AI. Jasper is an AI co-pilot for marketing teams. Our mission is to help marketing teams create content that performs better, not just that's created faster. Before I hand it off to Jessica, maybe you can introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Anitha. I'm Jessica Ria. I'm the head of Global Demand Content Strategy at VMware and the founder of our Marketing AI Council. Nice. Before I hand it off to Jessica to talk a little bit more about the AI Council, I'd love to take us all back in time. About a year ago, generative AI had just become mainstream. ChatGPT became a household name virtually overnight and all of the media headlines, the Twitter gurus, the tech pundits, all they could talk about is how the marketing profession would be changed. It wouldn't be recognizable after AI came into the picture. Some of that has been true. AI has changed marketing irrevocably. But what I think marketers have done a really good job at is reclaiming our power within the generative AI narrative that we're victims. We're not victims. I actually think that we're stewards of generative AI within the enterprise. Because of all of the tools available to us, the strategies we choose, the pilot programs we run, largely determine how the organization thinks about AI as a whole. Fast forward to today. This is the state of AI in marketing. Any given marketer have, has hundreds of tools to choose from when thinking about how they're gonna incorporate AI, incorporate AI into their strategy. But which tools are ready for enterprise use? What guidelines do we put in place to ensure AI is used ethically? Who makes those decisions? Jessica, an early customer of Jasper, was able to work through all of these questions and more at VMware through establishing an AI council. So I'd love to hand it off to her to talk through her story a little bit more. Thanks, Samyutha. So we thought we'd share with you today how VMware established a marketing AI council. Our origin story, our inspiration, really starts back last fall in a small pilot team with Jasper AI. We brought on Jasper on my team to pilot uh, content. We create promotional content, bill of materials, for our geos to execute in the field. We wanted to improve our content quality and speed time to production. We spend so much time back and forth with agencies and frankly waiting for agencies to get started on projects that by the time it comes to us, we couldn't spend enough time really editing it and, and, and making it what we really wanted to be. We also wanted to cut agency costs by half. So that all was happening in the fall. And then in November, you know what happened, right? ChatGPT launched. And we had some individual marketers across our large global marketing team, which is over 700 employees, start to really dive in deep on generative AI. We came back from our break in January and I was starting to hear conversations, silos of swirl, I call it. We had some interest, some excitement, some intrigue, and some outright fear for their jobs and what was going to happen with generative AI. People were going to brand saying, can I use ChatGPT to create new content? Brand is trying to figure out what our point of view was. So I saw this happening and brought everyone together and I call it this grassroots coordination of people in early February and I called it the Marketing AI Council. But it was very, you know, is this a good idea? Are you interested? Do you want to be part of this? Um, how often should we meet? And by the way, you know, here I'm going to throw up a draft charter. We should get organized around what AI pilots we want to prioritize. We should figure out what our point of view is on using ChatGPT or other tools. We should figure out what those guardrails are. And we should figure out how we want to educate our marketing team. So that was in February. We started meeting weekly and the team started growing. Initially, it was about eight to 10 people. In March, we established our first 
guidelines for using generative AI tools at VMware. And it was more about, you know, we ChatGPT, by the way, is a, is a non-starter for us at VMware. So in order, or in addition to telling people what not to do, we had to tell people what they could do along the way. So it was like, you know, don't use ChatGPT to publish content. Don't, in, don't share confidential information, but do experiment in drafting content with publicly available information. And our guidelines continued to flesh out from there. And by the way, we iterated them on a weekly basis when we first started. In March that same month, we also hosted our first global marketing enablement session. We brought in Paul Reitzer from the Marketing AI Institute, CEO and founder. By the way, if you're not following the Marketing AI Institute, highly, highly recommend, very vendor neutral approach. And they have a podcast every Tuesday we live and breathe by on our council that sums up the past week's news. So we brought him on and started to talk about generative AI for the first time. And we've been having monthly global enablement sessions from there. Between February, March, and April, we were really still trying to figure out who our exec sponsor would be. And for us, I knew that we needed leadership's alignment. We needed the runway. We needed to make sure that we were driving in the right direction. And it was trying to figure out, is that strategy and operations? Is that global web and digital services, which is our MarTech team? Is that global demand, which is my team? But in May, we were lucky enough to confirm our CMO as our exec sponsor, and that really catapulted the visibility, the runway, the body of work that the council was able to get done. And we formalized this charter that you see here. So it's now a cross-functional team, over 30 people in our Marketing AI Council, representing every single function across marketing, as well as IT, legal, product marketing, um, and sales. And that's a really great tip that we learned along the way, too. We brought legal in from the very beginning, and we're able to um, walk along with them hand in hand throughout, throughout the process. Our focus is really educating and empowering marketers. When our CMO came on board, it's not just about ensuring that marketing is leading internally, that VMware is leading externally, but that we're offering an opportunity for our individual marketers to upskill and take advantage of this transformational opportunity. Think about marketing before the internet and after the internet and how much has changed. What are we doing to make sure that our marketers understand the opportunity and can leverage that effectively? So we're really passionate about this upscale opportunity and offering that from an educational standpoint across our team. And making sure that our marketers are using Gen AI tools responsibly and effectively. What does responsible AI adoption mean? What, is, what are your ethical principles? And that kind of comes down to governance as well. What are we focused on? You all have a brand, a documented mission, an ethos, a North Star. What is that from an AI perspective? What is your risk tolerance? Are you ensured that your teams are using Gen AI the same way you want them to be using it? Are you all on the same page? And what does that look like? And how will it iterate over time and who's responsible for that? From an educational standpoint, it's not just onboarding new tools and ensuring that our teams know how to use it. Because there's a learning curve, by the way, right? So you have to ensure that there's a really broad educational plan for those tools that you're using. But also, it's really important to us, and I'm really passionate about foundational understanding of generative AI. What is it? Why is it different? How did we get here? What are the differences between traditional AI and ML? And what is generative? What does it mean to have predictive text? And why is that not plagiarism? And how are you looking at how t tools and models are trained and understanding what, uh, how to spot bias in the outputs that are coming along, right? All of that uh, makes you a better marketer, helps you understand an experience in those tools, creates understanding. And those two things really go hand in hand. So these are the responsibilities across our Marketing AI Council. Your Marketing AI Council, your group, may look really different than ours. It may not be as large either, but all of these are aspects across the team that I think are really important. We have an AI newsletter. We had our first Marketing Leadership AI Summit. We workshopped use cases, prioritized. What was our second half roadmap going to be for the council and from an AI piloting standpoint? Driving enablement, promoting those best practices, and managing these work streams. I want to leave you with four key tips, takeaways. They could be in any order, and I could do this presentation three more times with these in different order. So they're really all about the same from an important standpoint. Recruiting an exec sponsor. You may be the exec sponsor for your company, right? So supporting your team and getting this started and really prioritizing this grassroots opportunity. It's important to make sure that the people who are passionate about 
Generative AI are the ones doing this because it's probably above and beyond their daily jobs. And you need to have the people who want to put in extra time and effort to figure this out. If you don't have an AI policy today, this is really where you need to get started. Most companies don't, but it's the first place you need to do, first place you need to start to get everybody on board and on the same page. And really just getting started, taking initiative. Luckily, our friends at Jasper today have created an AI policy template that you can download here to get you started. It's great because it's on Jasper's value prop of getting past that blank page, allowing you to customize this template for your teams. The big takeaway here is to take action and get started. And I know that in a conference full of SaaS startups, you all know how to get started. Thank you. Come see us at booth 216. We're happy to answer questions and talk to you more about this topic.